Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and RFK Jr. just made a change that's going to change and rock the entire election. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please do that. The address is right there in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. Go there, hit subscribe for free, and, you know, give the assist to conservative media. So, RFK Jr., when he got out of the race, he kind of gave what I would call a tepid endorsement to Donald Trump. You know, he said, I'm just suspending my campaign, which is normal. He's got campaign bills to pay, so you don't end it. You suspend it. And just suspending the campaign, we're not getting off the ballot in all the states. And I don't think he articulated, really, the strong endorsement that Trump wanted and that we all wanted. Well, that changed. That just changed because RFK Jr. just revealed why he's pulling himself off the ballots in the swing states. And the reason, in his words, is to inflict maximum damage on the Kamala Harris campaign for president. He wants to inflict maximum damage. He wants to ensure that former President Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. He then went on Twitter and gave his full support to MAGA, explained what MAGA means to him and why he supports it. I want you to take a look at this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Have you all negotiated over or talked about a cabinet position, another position within a Trump government in exchange for your endorsement? No, there was, there's been no commitments. Um, but I, you know, I met with President Trump, with his family, with his closer advisors, and we just made a general um, commitment that we were going to work together. What about the states where you're trying to get off of a number of swing state ballots to say, I'm going to stay on a number of state ballots, but in these swing states, I'm going to try to withdraw myself and ask my supporters, or at least you're telling them, think about supporting President Trump. Did you negotiate over which states you would try to withdraw from? Yeah, I mean, we all knew which states they were. There basically is 10 swing states where my presence in the race would have uh, helped uh, uh, Vice President Harris and would have harmed uh, President Trump. So I'm going to get off the ballot in those states, and then we're going to stay on the ballot in 30 states. And, you know, I'm encouraging people to vote for me in those states. Those are states where the votes, they're either all red or all blue states where their votes are not going to change the outcome of the race. And But in the... In the, in the States where I would have been a spoiler, I'm going to get out. So it's about 10 states.